Hi, I'm Brad Smith from Beersmith.com. Today I'm going to cover some of the new recipe sharing and rating options in Beersmith 3. First, I go to my cloud search folder and look up some stouts. Click on cloud search and I'll simply type in stout and I find a number of them. Uh, from here, I can actually open each of these recipes and look at them. And if I find one that I really like, like maybe this uh, oatmeal stout, I can go ahead and rate it. So I click on rating and I can give a title to my rating like a great recipe. Give it a, a number of stars, let's say five stars and give it some comments. Uh, uh, So when I do that, um, any of the ratings that I put on here are basically going to be shared with everybody on Beersmith. And uh, ratings, of course, help fun people find recipes online. So the top rated recipes flow to the top. And you can, in fact, use the rating when you're searching. Uh, for now, I'm going to cancel this, though, and go back to the cloud search. So it's a great, uh, great feature. You just click on the rate button up here, and you can rate anyone's recipe. Uh, the other new feature I want to show you in the cloud is the new sharing option. So if I go to my cloud folder here, you can see I have all of my recipes listed as private. And by default, all of your recipes that you add to the cloud are, of course, private because we don't want to automatically share anybody's uh, data without their permission. However, um, I can easily share a recipe by clicking on the share option. And the share folder, uh, I'm sorry, the share dialog now has new options in it, you can see here. Most importantly are the sharing options that you see here. Uh, the first option is private, uh, of course, which is the default. And this keeps the recipe accessible only by your account. So someone would actually have to know your login and password in order to access your account and access any of the recipes there. Um, I should mention also that uh, Beersmith 3 uses a secure connection to go to the uh, cloud folders. So uh, your data is actually secure during transmission as well. Uh, the section option is a new option called unlisted. Unlisted recipes are accessible only via direct link, but they won't show up in the public search results. This is a good option if you want to share a recipe with a few friends, but don't want the whole world to see it. If you pick this, op this option, if I go to unlisted, for example, um, you'll see I've got a link here, the view recipe link, and also a sharing ID here, and I can either copy of e each one of those to the clipboard and include those perhaps in an email to a friend of mine so that they can find the recipe. But anyone that doesn't have the ID or the link uh, can't really find the recipe. Basically, it's an unlisted recipe. So, um, so this is a great way to share your recipes without, again, exposing them to the whole world. And the final option here obviously is shared. And shared allows you to uh, share the recipe with the public. It'll show up in the public search results. And it's a great way to contribute to the Beersmith community because now other people can rate this recipe, they can find this recipe, uh, and they can use it to make their own recipes. So those are the new rating and sharing options in Beersmith 3. For more videos as well as recipes, uh, discussion, articles, and my podcast, as well as a 21-day free trial version of Beersmith 3, please visit my website at beersmith.com.